So we've already talked about how to do your reference list entries and your in-text citations. The third area is how to format your paper. So once again, what you're going to do is look on the left-hand side here, and you're going to look at two places. So the first one is general format. So general format will tell you things like, your essay should be typed, double-spaced on standard size paper with one-inch margins on all sides. You're going to use 12-point font in Times New Roman, right? So these are all the things that you need to set up in Word when you first get it going. Most of the time, Word does not have these things as its default, so you're going to need to set them up. And again, you can go to your instructor or you can come to us in the library and we'll help you do that. It also tells you how to do your title page, so you're always going to be setting it up according to these instructions. And again, it's not really like efficient for me to sit here and go through every single detail with you. The idea is that if you come to this website and you use it as a guide, and you just follow exactly what they do and what the sample does, then you'll be ready to go. Um, so that's basically my approach here. The other thing you can do, see that was under general format. There's also an entire paper that's a sample paper. So a little bit further down on the left, we see APA sample paper. And what this does is it has a marked up copy of an entire paper so that you can see exactly how everything looks in APA style. So you can see even more examples of how they've incorporated their in-text citations. You can see an example of how the page numbers and the running header look. You can see an example of what double spacing looks like. And you can go all the way to the end and look at their reference list and see what that should look like as well when, you're, when you've completed doing it in Word. So there's my approach to using APA style. As you can see, I do not advocate for the use of those online citation generators that you can find or the automatic send me the citation links that you'll find in the library databases because I find that more than 50% of the time they're actually wrong. Even if you do decide to use them, I think it's really important that you understand how APA style works so that you can quickly spot errors and fix them. Otherwise, they don't really save you any time in the long run. Let's do another activity now to help you become an expert in this process. Mm -hmm.